Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka and today I'm gonna finally be doing my MTs video. I think it's about time. I have a full bag of stuff here. I wish I had a basket for it, but I don't. I'm just realizing that it's only uh, skincare and body care and random stuff. That's not one makeup item. And obviously you guys know I have so much makeup, it's so hard for me to finish one makeup item. So I have a few body creams that I completely demolished. So the first one is the Laura Mercier Fresh Fig Body Cream. I am now on their vanilla amber one. They're very luxurious products, but so worth it. And a tub really goes a long way. So yeah, the Fresh Fig one is, I think, my favorite for sure. It's such a unique scent and it's really hydrating. I have super dry skin, so I absolutely love this. It does cost a penny, but oh, so, so, so worth it. The next body cream that I really, really did like is the Ritual of Sakura. This is by Rituals and it's the Magic Touch body cream in rice milk and cherry blossom. They do have quite a few of these and I think uh, out of all of them I like the yellow tub this one was good and I you know I used it up like completely empty but the, the scent wasn't my favorite to be honest I definitely prefer the yellow tub or the green one. Oh my god I have another body cream here this is by Bondi Sands uh, this is their body moisturizer in the coconut scent I have the tropical rum scent which I'm using currently and I do like it but it's not my favorite this was bomb this is so worth it it leaves your skin looking shiny and dewy and hydrated it smells really really nice and this is definitely one I would reach out to again and it's really really affordable so random but we literally go through these like crazy Listerine in the cool mint you need this I thought I'd include this in here our go-to toothpaste, I know, again, so random, is the Colgate Total Original because all these toothpastes that say, that claim to whiten your teeth are just false, like, they can't, and I don't see how they can. So I never, like, buy a whitening toothpaste anymore, especially because my teeth are already, like, the whitest they can be. I don't need them to be any whiter. And anyways, just go for normal toothpaste with fluoride, guys, so... Yep. We also went through this Nivea Fresh Blends Apricot Mango Rice Milk Shower Gel. Um, it wasn't special, like our go-to is Palmolive, uh, the honey one, but this was okay, like we used it, but would I purchase again? I don't think so. It's so hard to build MT's videos because it genuinely takes a while to get all these products to be finished. Um, but we go through these like crazy, the nude, oh deodorants i can't live without this they're natural more environmentally friendly made out of 100 percent recyclable bioplastic tube um from sugar cane and it's super concentrated so you only need like a pea-sized amount for each armpit you massage it in it hydrates and you don't smell and it keeps your armpits dry ish they are more on the higher end but they work really well and i don't get irritated armpits anymore so love these they're by nude and i get them from amazon so i actually worked with nivea on this campaign but this is the nivea sun dark spot control guys this one is amazing they did send me um the other spfs from their range that i'm trying to finish right now but i'm definitely going to pick this up again because i love that it has dark spot control it has this patented ingredient in there that's going to help reduce any dark spots on your skin which i have a lot at the moment um but because I have other ones that I need to finish, I'm going to finish those. But this is definitely one I would pick up again. And it's more affordable as well. No ashiness. It's not greasy. It sits really nice under makeup or on its own. Definitely, definitely recommend this. I've worked with them just putting that out there. But ugh, I literally swear by this stuff. This is the stress... The next item is the Stress Check Mood Manager by This Works. This is a spray that we spray every night before going to bed. And yeah, I've already purchased another one, but this is, oh, I love this stuff so much. I've already talked about it in a video. They just sent, just, it just tells you that it's bedtime and I just really like it. I find it really comforting and yeah. I have a few skincare items that we finished. So one was the Wishful Honey Balm. This stuff is really hydrating. I love that it has niacinamide in there and turmeric. I'm very moisturizing and I have super dry skin. So this works really well for me and hubby. <laughs> have you guys seen those TikToks where like these girls imitate their partners, how like they just apply the moisturizer like this? Oh, 
and it, it can't be accurate enough. And the next one is the Ulla Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. We really like this one. Again, sits beautifully on the skin. And yeah, this would definitely be one I would repurchase and the wishful one, to be honest. And we also really liked the Skin Proud Sleep Hero Overnight Sleep Mask. This was like, it's very light. It's, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I don't know. Oh, it smells so nice, but it's a very light jelly kind of moisturizer. You can either wash this off or sleep with it. We always wore it at night, to be honest. And I really like Skin Proud products. They're really good. I put this in a bag. I thought I'd include something that really didn't work out for me. And that's the Laura Mercier Almond Coconut Hand Cream. I really don't like the scent of this at first. It smells really nice, but oh, afterwards, guys, it literally made me like, oh, the scent, the thought of it just made me feel sick honestly like it just has this really weird after smell um, but I do love all their other hand creams like the vanilla one or the fresh fig one they're really good they are very strong scents for hand creams so I'm just going to put that out there but if you do like those stronger scents in your hand cream then this would their range would be for you but the almond coconut one was just a no for me it's a no. And to be honest, I also feel like with when it comes to hand cream, I prefer more like fresh scents. But yeah, that's all my empties, guys. I don't know if that was a lot or not. I don't know. Um, I remember watching one recently by Jamie Genevieve. She had some makeup items. I don't at this point, but I'll keep putting them, anything that I finish to the side. <laughs> um, I did have a NYX micro brow pencil that I chucked away. I completely forgot to put it in my bag. And there's so many other products that I threw away and forgot that I'm collecting my empties because I'm so in the moment and I just throw them away. So I was guided about that, but it's fine. I'll continue to put them to the side and hopefully I'll have another one soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a like, subscribe so you can join the family. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.